Indians rallied to avoid the sweep at the hands of the New York Yankees. Twins beat them. The Indians averaged less than three runs. 313 batting average. We'll get to that the next time. Jose Ramirez throws him out. The Twins go one, two. Golf toward the gap, right center, but Rooker, the right fielder, able to get over and grab it. Your updates, stats, and much more. Show somebody. Here's Brent Rooker, and he slams and one to deep center field. field. Rosario won't get this one. And Rooker with his first home run. Ranked the 12th best prospect in the Twins organization by MLB.com. And he'll have a big smile on his face as he crosses. Outs in the inning, but this one just did not come back. That was hammered the other way, man. That was it. Jake Cave. Bouncing ball. This will be Jose Ramirez with the shift on. And the inning. 1 0 Minnesota, bottom of the second inning. Eddie Rosario. He lines one into center field, a base hit. Well, there you go. Advantage Eddie. Now he's got that knock. There we go. Well, Arch, she said facing the twins is going to be like seeing your ex girlfriend. He <laughs> said, when you see your ex girlfriend, you want to have your best outfit. You know, you've got to have some, maybe players talk to him. Okay. You know, maybe you have. There's a hard hit ball, and that's going to get through. There, you only need a single. Eddie's on his way to third, and the Indians will have runners at the corners with one out. As a hitter, and I know you can relate to this, where everything slows down and you're locked in. He goes, last year in the playoffs, when he had those five hits in his first five at-bats, he said everything was just slowed down for him. He was they played three guys over uh, on the right side of that infield for a guy like this, and I know the scouting reports. There you go. Not much you could do. Hit it hard, but right at the center fielder. No runs, two hits, two. Nice, huh? Yeah. Okay. I would say they better get some padded walls. <laughs> if, if, if this 1 0 pitch grounded on the right side. Long run for the pitcher, and the flip is in time. Barrios just did nick the bag with his back foot. And the Indians go one, two, three. Share of damage against the Indians. He has 26 career homers at night. Like, do we sign him? Do we commit to him? Remember, he, he could have been had by anybody for relatively cheap dollars as he legs out an infield hit here with one out. Let's see, Jimenez gets as much on it as he could. Picks it. Well, the Indians just are going to challenge it. it. I don't uh, know, though. I don't either. That's going to be right. But let's let's wait as the next pitch is hammered to the gap in left center field and Karoloff has his first big league hit in well, a regular Andre, season that game. trivia question throw to second and he is safe and Cesar he felt like he uh, looked like Hernandez said he got his hand his head goes down he did I think he did get the hand infields. In the air, left field. Not going to break the ball. And Eddie Rosario settles under it. Here comes Cruz to the plate, and he will score standing. In More than anybody in the American League. They get him in from. And now Brent Rook. Tops it to third. Stays fair, and Ramirez has Kirilov in a rundown. And. Hernandez takes time in as many at bats for Fran Mill. That fastball's run looked like off the plate. And struck him out looking with a fastball inside. Remember, you told me, Rick, years and years ago, I marveled at the way Grady Sizemore played. Strike three called. Fastball locked him up. Two Ks in the fifth for Zach Plesek. Two nothing, Minnesota. Back here at Progressive Field. But he did get a base hit in his first at bat yeah. because he cut down on the swing up. But you see, he was fooled. The hands. It's that hard. The other he way. Smoked that. Deep ball. left field, off the wall. He'll dig for two. He'll go in standing with a leadoff double, and Josh Naylor is two for two. Yeah. Watch his hands. See him go through it, down and through it, and he didn't swing. The, that was pretty. 
right there. And I mean play right there where he was going to come over and play on uh, the ground ball slowly hit the second two down. Naylor to third. You know you get the, those catchers though right. Line drive. Got Will it. it get down? No. Polanco able to run it down for out number three. So they leave the leadoff. Weak ground ball hit to short. Good inning. The Twins are retired in order for the fourth time in six innings. It's, uh, Barrios, very well. <laughs> Did you ever see the movie where Chuck Barris is actually he he's using the gong two and one? You know, you looked at Hernandez uh, putting up a uh, three. Did it to Reyes twice. Off the end of the bat, right to the first baseman. And there is out number one, Hernandez. Well, this series against the Twins will continue tomorrow and wrap up with a day game on Wednesday. Recognize that. He swung, drives it high in the air, left field on the run, a rise into the corner. Can't get there. It's a fair ball. The Indians are on the board. Eddie screaming into second base, safe with an RBI double. He knew that ball was hit as hard as it was. You're right. His initial break was he toward the line. He, he didn't belly out, man. He Looks uh, like you want to back off the plate a couple inches to where. There's the slider off the end of the bat. Will it get down? It will. Coming around third base with the tying run is Eddie Rosario. Throw to the plate. Not in time. Enough of it to find some outfield grass. So once again, the big man stayed on it beautifully. A clutch RBI, in comes Rosario, we have a new ball game. Wow, and that's the manager, Rocco Baldelli, who might be going out with a hook here. It's only eight. And a ground ball up the middle, but the shift enables Andrelton Simmons to make the play to end the inning. But the Indians get a couple of hits. Zach Plesak. Just 70 pitches as he comes into the set. Bounced into an inning, ending fielder's choice in the fourth. And he pops him up. It's going to be another one, two, three inning for Zach Plesak. He does it on seven pitches in the seventh. Stretch time in Cleveland. And that's low ball four. Let's get a work. slump with a bloop shot in the shallow right, but Jorge Polanco. There goes Roberto. He took off, got a great jump. Here's the throw. And he came off the bag, but he's able to keep the toe on it. Oh, how about the nimble Roberto Perez? The throw. He had the short hop. It was the element of surprise. Boy, he got that foot right on the bag and almost came off, but man, he kept it on. Oh, well, the Twins are in the air, right center. The right fielder, Rooker, makes the catch. Roberto will tag. He'll go to third, but now there are two down. Well, he got the right guy up. He's at about 20 pitches in his at bat. Hard hit ball to first, and it's scooped by Kirilov, the inning is over seven complete deadlock to two it's a, it's mistake. a mistake yeah but I'm, uh, the the one that he threw down. weak ground ball left side Ramirez the only one there no couldn't get anything on the throw yeah he did the best he could nothing he could do the throw well I'll tell you what when you're playing first base and please X on him on you better be ready there goes the runner yeah. swinging a ground ball and it's backhanded Nice play by Jimenez to recover. What a job. He yeah, feels like he's, he's better fine fit over there. for left field than right field, though. Just my personal. I mean, sure. Especially at the bottom of your lineup. Time where the, you don't mind if they swing. This guy's not this. the guy you want to see no. up in this situation. Exactly. There's and your head. he just broke the tie. Throw coming all the way home. 
And Minnesota leads it three to two. Arise slapping it down. Nice job of hitting by Arise. So there you go, that little infield single, a couple of ground outs, and they're able to take. Oh man, to the backstop it goes and Arise down the scoring position on the wild pitch. Pitch. Missed with the slider. But he's looking for something out over the plate that he can shoot to. Shoots it to the right side, but Josh Naylor makes a nice backhanded play to retire the side. Minnesota takes the lead. Bottom of the eighth coming up. You're right. You never see a swing like that from him. Here's a 3 2. Hammered deep right down the line. Home run. Tie game. They played with fire and they got burnt. Well, that's a, a huge hit by Jose. Not showing him up. He's telling no, him. And he had a talk with him earlier in the game. There it is. Fastball called third strike. Jose Ramirez has swing the bat. And, and you know that's why they never really had a position. And they swing their national or American League players. Look Lost his hat, strikes out. Brian Shaw, four up, four down. We Taylor Roger. I'm sure nobody nice. ever screwed that out. And it will get down, and the Indians have the winning run aboard in the bottom of the ninth to start it off. Shoots it the other way. That's a fair ball. Down the line it goes. Coming into third is Naylor. He'll stop there. It's a double for Jimenez. Look at the left fielder is the only one in, in view. And man, right down the line, doubles. Oh, this is a thing of beauty. Ground ball to third. They're coming home with the throw, and Naylor is out. Two down. Plenty of time. And that's the only thing he could do. Slide in there, try and get that ball out of his glove. They get the second out. First. Weekly chop to short. And we've got extra innings in Cleveland tied at three. Ground ball, big hop, shortstop Jimenez unloads in a hurry, and it's a close play, but they get Cave for out number one. Astudillo able to go. And a ground ball to short. Routine play for Jimenez. We'll go to the bottom of the tenth. Still deadlocked at three. It's not that way. He has good stuff. On him or do something. High fly ball. Deep left field. Lynn is back. Looking up. It's gone to Souvenir City. And the Indians have their first walk off of the and loop blow now five out of 13 with runners in scoring position and he delivers the knockout blow Produced tonight that they had to, and what a way to walk it off and celebrate. Great game tonight.